In this lecture, we will learn how to define the European material properties. To define European material properties, we need to go to define material properties. We need to click on add new material. We click on Europe. Material has to be concrete. Standard has to be EN 1992, that is EC2. Grade can be from C12 to C90. Here, one is the cubic strength and one is the cylindrical strength. As cylindrical strength is 0.8 times of cubic strength, so what code do, do is that basically it gives the both values. For example, here we click on C25 by 30. When we click on OK option, material property data window will open. Here material name has already been entered by default. Material type is concrete. Directional symmetrical type that is material is isotropic or orthotropic. We click on isotropic for concrete. After that, specify weight density or specify mass density. User need to understand this thing is that all this data has already been entered by the e -tabs. That is, it is a by default material properties that have been extensively studied and are entered very precisely as per the codal recommendations. So here, specify weight density, we can change here. We can change this data but it is not recommended to change this data as this is the data that is has to be correct. So mechanical property that modulus of elasticity that is 31,000 MPa, Poisson ratio nu 0.2, coefficient of thermal expansion is 0 0.00001, shear modulus has already been entered here. Below this data, we are seeing here is design property data. This is a very important data here that is material property design data. Concrete compressive strength FC dash is 25 MPa. We click on OK option. After that, you will see that there are three options here. Material damping properties, time dependent properties and non-linear material data. If you are doing non-linear analysis. In non-linear analysis, what we do is that we extensively study the behavior of material and we extensively study the behavior of frame and displacements. What exactly we enter in non-linear analysis is that we model the hinges. And there are three type of hinges as per the various earthquake standards that is one is io immediate occupancy second is ls life saving third is cp that is collapse prevention so this data by default material data for io that is immediate occupancy is 0 0.01 for tension notice the units here it is mm per mm that is strain acceptance criteria strains and compression 0 0.003 so while modeling or and while analyzing if at a section or at a hinge the tension exceeds 0 0.01 and the compression exceeds 0 0.003 it is not io it goes to ls that is if the tension strain is between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 it lies somewhere between immediate occupancy and life saving so we take it as life saving that is the limit or threshold for immediate occupancy is Tension strain is 0 0.01, compression strain is 0 0.003. For life saving tension strain is 0 0.02, for compression strain is 0 0.006, for tension strain is 0 0.05 and for compression strain it is 0 0.015. So this data can be customized or can be entered manually also. On the right is hysteresis type, that is we can modify the hysteresis parameter by entering the energy degradation factor. We can enter the drucker prager parameters that is friction and angle and dilatational angle. We can enter the parametric and we can enter it as user defined also. We can also see the stress strain plot for that material. That is for C2530. Stress and strain graph is like this and we can see there are two colors here that is this is the io stage immediate occupancy stage and this is the ls stage that is life saving stage so we click here on done and we click on left click on ok option after that again we left click on ok option user will notice that c25 by 30 material is entered in the defined material window now after that if we want to define the European steel sections, user need to notice that there is a difference between steel and rebar. If we want to model the reinforcement, if we want to enter the property of reinforcement, we need to enter rebar here. Or if we want to enter the structural steel section properties, for example, there are I sections, there are tube sections, there are circular hollow sections, there are rectangular hollow sections we need to enter steel to as an example we enter steel here that is ec3 for concrete it is ec2 
for steel it is EC3. There are four type of materials that is defined by EN1993 that is EC3. Number one is S235, second is S275, third is S355 and fourth is S450. Although most of the times the steel section property that is used is either S275 or S355. As an example we enter S275, we will have to click on OK option. Again that same window will open showing all the material properties that is Symmetry type is isotopic, weight density is already entered here, modulus of elasticity is already entered here, shear modulus, all the stuff is already entered here. And after that again, as in the concrete, it was showing compressive strength, in steel it will show the yield strength, tensile strength, yield strength and ten effective tensile strength. So all this data is by default entered in the ETAS program. We left click on OK option, after that again we will see this data of non-linear material data. Again. There are IO, ILS, CP data entered, immediate occupancy, life saving and collapse prevention data. Again you will see the stress strain plot here. That is blue, dark blue here, light blue here and green here. It is collapse prevention, it is life saving and it is immediate occupancy. So when the material is behaving around here, you can see by zooming on the scroll wheel on the mouse. So when it is around here, that is the building can be immediately occupied again. When the building is here, it is life saving and when the building is here, it is collapse prevention. That is material has material that is material properties or the material strength has already been utilized and the so when we click on left click on done option, we left click on OK option and then again we left click on OK option. We will see that S275 material properties entered here. There is one thing that I would like to tell you for European material properties. There are no option to enter. There are no by default reinforcement. So we can click on OK option to enter the material properties manually. We can enter the name here as FE500. We can name it as direction symmetry type uniaxial, weight density, mass density, modulus of elasticity. We can enter the data here. And we can enter the nonlinear material data here. So we can when we left click on OK option, this reinforcement material is now in the defined material option. What exactly happens is that whenever we are defining some section properties, we need to connect that section property to material. So now we have understood how to define the concrete section, how to define the structural steel section, and how to define the reinforcement section.